Hello and welcome to another episode of Scartified Engineering. I'm Spiltis and in today's super episode we will have to go back on something that we did in last episode. Uh, I tried and tried and tried to convince my head ghosts that it's okay to have a few of the nuts in sync, but no. I, I can't <laughs> I can't go on like that and uh, so the nut holding uh, the lower ball joint as well as the tie rod those two will get yellow and uh, the good thing is that it's a simple chemical process dip them in hydrochloric acid which I don't like but that's how you do it then distilled water and then into the yellow pulverization fluid and then just let it dry so uh, i think the hydrochloric acid will make the surface a little bit dull so hopefully it won't be too shiny and it will match the dullness of the other fasteners so we will have to start with that and while that's drying i'm hoping to install the rear axle hubs. We have one uh, axle seal to, to install, I think. Maybe also a lock ring or something. We will have to look. We will, I, I guess we will see it once we take them out. So yeah, let's start with the yellow pasteurization. So here we have the screws from the lower ball joints, uh, sorry, the nuts and the nuts for the tie rods. Uh, these are the ones for the lower ball joints uh, holding it to the control arm. Not sure if I'm going to use these or the other ones that I have. Um, but I might as well treat them while I'm anyway doing this. So we have one bucket for the hydrochloric acid, one for the yellow pacification and one for the distilled water. We have gloves for my hands, just so I don't leave this grease from my skin on these. Protective eyewear, some copper wire, some rods to hang it on. Uh, doesn't really fit that way, but it doesn't matter because I'm anyway just going to swing them, dip them in here and then swing them in here and then I will hang them to dry. So they will not need to be stationary in any of these buckets and uh, in the yellow pacification both they should not be stationary either, they should be constantly moving. So let's get started. So while the uh, fasteners are turning yellow, I have 
installed one of the final seals so this is the left hand side rear I will do the same on this one and I will show you but uh, we have one of these so basically we put it in place I do not have a fancy tool for doing this so what I need to do is basically we have a pivot point so I need to make sure that I put some tension on it and then I use a plastic hammer to lightly tap it in place and then I chase all around with this and uh, get it to seat fully. Here we have both of them installed and uh, now we can hang these on the car. I will put some a rag or something so that I don't get dirt in there until I install the drive shaft. So one axle hub is basically on, <laughs> we have the screwdriver holding it to the coilover, uh, we have one screw and not here, nothing down there, and nothing there, we have a nut holding the upper control arm, but for some reason uh, I do not have the correct ones. So. Uh, the one that I thought was for the ball joint was too small. So uh, yeah, sort of back to the drawing board. But uh, it's getting late, at least it's hanging there. So that's something. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the uh, ugly yellow nuts. So if we can focus. Yeah, um, they did not really come out like I intended them to, but at least they have a yellow color. Perhaps it wasn't zinc or, uh, yeah, I don't know. This will have to do. So I will cover up the axle hub. I already put the other one in the cupboard, so we will install that one hopefully in the next episode, whenever that is. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay safe. Take care. Bye bye.